so we had to download all the software. And so what we did, this is kind of a bad story, but this is a long time. <laughs> Should I turn the <laughs> camera off? Yeah. <laughs> IT is fully aware of this. So we plugged in what we thought was a, um, a switch, but it was a router. And then like after about a month, you see all these IT people running around because like none of the computers could connect in the it building. Because, down. yeah, because yeah. our router, our little router was dishing out IP addresses. <laughs> 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 yeah. And connected, so, to, connected to nothing, right? Connected I mean, to nothing. Yeah. Right? So that's how I found out all about this. But yeah, they came and they, they were able to triangulate it right to our desk and we got in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> that may or may not be going on today, too. <laughs> but, you know, we didn't know. I mean, we weren't doing anything malicious. It's just, yeah. yeah. So you, do you still have a problem like that? No, no, no. I was just wondering from that experience, because we couldn't connect any computers, how could this even be possible? But two, now I kind of understand what you're saying. The, the two main wireless attack vectors are, are number one, you plug a wireless access point into to a network that you control, and then you can get into their network. The second one is a rogue access point sends a stronger signal than, another, than, than the real wireless access point. <coughs> My laptop tries to connect to that instead of the real one oh, and right. shares the password, and now I have the password. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those that those are the two reasons you scan for for a rogue access point you know, one more thing on a continuous is, basis. One, one more thing that you do, kind of like a, like a second example, you can actually connect that access point back to your PC, which is already connected wirely via wire into your network. Oh, okay. And the is going through you. Yep. Yeah, proxy through the PC. Yeah. So you can collect, you Again, I hate single-time scans. I want something that's going to be continuous. Yes. So um, the the talk here has been mostly orientated towards someone putting a device on a internal network that then allows some outside device to connect up, and it's the same person setting up both ends of that. Uh, I suspect that this setup would work as well for. Uh, people sitting out in the parking lot looking for open signals, all right? So you can find someone that's sitting out in the parking lot uh, scanning for, for Wi-Fi. Let me show you my Halloween picture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's actually in a different folder. Give me a second. So for Halloween, it was after I had already submitted the article to the Linux Journal to be published. Um, I was still waiting to find out what the publication information was. I wanted to do something fun for Halloween. Have you guys seen the picture of the computer hacker on the, on the laptop? Like, you go to Shutterfly, it's like the default image. Oh, he's all shady looking. And, yeah. yeah, he's got the little <laughs> ski mask on. <laughs> yeah. I hate that image. I hate that it's used to find hackers everywhere. Um, this is the mounting bracket on the back of a 24 inch monitor that was sitting on my porch. That's a mounting bracket for the Raspberry Pi. There's the complete setup. That's a much larger barrier than what I'm running here currently today. Um, a Raspberry Pi B. Plus with the, uh, actually this dongle itself. And what I did is I sat there handing out candy on Halloween. And where the mouse is, all those yellow lines are the beacons from people's cell phones when they left the side, the, the Wi-Fi turned on or something. <laughs> when, they, when they walked up, did they see their... I only had one person even ask what that was, but yes, they did. And he's like, hold on a second. No, this one girl walks up, she's like, what's that and what's it doing? It's like, oh, well, I'm dressed up as a hacker. I'm stealing all your cell phone information. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that wasn't quite the case, but... And then I did a bunch of metric testing, and metrics on it afterwards, and turned that into a class project. Um, but yeah, that was my... See, I'm a white hat, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, that makes everything okay. With a black because mask. it's a white hat. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> well, hackers were masked. So, I mean, I'm in a suit. I got time. And it was cold. It was. <laughs> and a fire pit set up at the end of my driveway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my girlfriend wanted to get. <laughs> what? Did it rain at all? Yeah. My girlfriend wanted to get in on the act, too, so. She's a black hat. Yeah. She had the sense to put on a coat. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's see if this is actually going to work. Um, I got home today and realized since I rebuilt this box, I haven't actually put back the original Linux instance that I used to build the test network originally. Um, so I'm going to feel really bad if this doesn't work. Because I got home at 6 o'clock and it's like, crap, I have to be in, where am I going in 30 minutes? Yeah. And, you guys and then of course you ran into traffic. Traffic wasn't bad. You missed it all. Um, what part of town do you come from? Dearborn, but I had to go from Troy to Dearborn and back up here. <laughs> it's 
spent a lot of time driving today. You can't get there from here. From there. Not on a freeway. Come on. I'm so kind of already made anger to God's ones. Some different chickens. Yeah. No, That's the other disc that. So when I originally built this image, I kept a USB drive plugged in. Just look at that one. Because um, this was actually designed for my number for this class. So I think. So you're bur booting a virtual machine where? I'm here. Okay, but I mean to do... Oh, so this is going to be the server side of the <coughs> setup. Okay. I've already got the, the drones pushed out and plugged in. Um, I do need to make a configuration change on one of them. Actually, I need to change the server configuration for one of the drones. For this, it's, it's easier to grab it's, it's a bunch of you off of the repository. What do they get change their name to? Oh. I should prefer running straight Debian. <laughs> but, yeah. what's, the, what's the UI these days for Debian? Um, I usually use this. I use XFCE. Okay. Um, I think it's going. I think it's known three by default. I, 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 I didn't Oops. care for it, so when I, when I, do, when I install the Debian package, package, I install it. I do a net install yeah. with no GUIs. Mm. So when I say it's easier to go grab this, it's off a bunch of you. Just control plus will make a bigger one. Uh, oh. What are you trying to increase the font size? Yeah, yeah control there. Control plus. Control shift plus. Uh, I think it work on a console. <laughs> oh, it's not a terminal. That's the VMware console, right? Oh. Yeah. It's a terminal window inside. Oh, it is a terminal window? Yeah. Then it should work. Seems like it. Mm. I thought it was a console. I feel bad because like things like this is slow it down and it just takes a little fun out of me. I, I, I can see it just it's, it's very clear back there. I mean. mm -hmm. Okay. Um,
We've always had that problem here. That went away when they replaced the projector. Well, for a while. It's also in a terminal window, so you could potentially move the terminal over. Yeah, but that Whoa. Well, that's that a little, little hard to read, but. Yeah. I'm not the only one. No. That blue's hard to read even when you're looking directly at it. Yeah. Like it fuzzes out. It's yeah. Sort of like ultraviolet. All I see is blur. <laughs> yeah. This is what the NSA does. Yeah. Their screen's in. <laughs> this is NSA encryption text. Yeah. What does appearance allow you to do? This is what the NSA wants you to You need a funny set of glasses to read it. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yay. Well, let's try 24. Well, you can read the blue now. Yeah, are you in Vim? Yes, I do. The colon, uh, uh, colon back, background equals dark. Is that what it is? Background equals dark? Or colon dark? Set. Colon, uh, set, set. Background I think it's set. Yeah. Background equals dark? Yeah. I forgot that command. Okay. Um, so this is the server, confi server config file. Um, if you're setting this up on a drone, you want to change the drone config file. And after we start talking, I'll show you how to do that too. Okay, we've got sure. about 15 minutes before we need to start backing up. Yeah. I'll try to be fast. Uh, I think I know what happened. That's right. oh. Everybody catching all that? Oh yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like when you see computers on TV, right? It's always yeah. rolling text. It's not so. making noise. <laughs> yeah. He's not pounding the key like this. <laughs> <coughs> so these drones that you're talking about, uh, are you connect putting the Raspberry Pis on the drone? That is the, the drone. The drones are the Raspberry Pis. Okay. So these little boxes spread around. Okay, so he's not, not, he's not talking about the flying drones. They're not, okay. yeah, they're not right. quadcopters. Yeah. <laughs> so the naming clicture for this is actually done by the Kismet people. I would have called them, if it was up to me, I would have called them sensors. But sensors? Sensors. Because that makes more sense. It's a remote mm -hmm. sensor. Sure. But they looked at it and they said, like, oh, it's a drone. And then fast forward to five, ten years, now everybody's flying these quadcopters sure. around calling those drones, too. Really no, it's no, it's what we're so you could put those Raspberry Pis on drones and then fly them around. Yeah, I have a friend that did drone. that. I have a question. Yes. You ever, you ever find any uh, any wireless keyboards? No, but I heard that there's this yeah. great job for Junior recently called uh, Blue Sweep <coughs> that found the Microsoft ones and I'd like to. I, I'm not interviewing a person. Um, I start the server. Are you having problems with vehicles with Wi-Fi now? I haven't looked at that. Mm -hmm. um, so my day job is firewalls. Um, interesting. I'd like to know why this is only looking at the local host and it's not looking at the drone, even though it's said. Kismet has been around for a long time, hasn't it? Isn't it, yeah. 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 it has. That's what we used to use to find an access point to connect yeah. up to. Are the ports on? Years ago. Are the drones on your own private network or are they on the library network? They're on the private network. Yeah, he's got them all plugged in on each other. Those are switched out here. Every need. Almost everything's connected that way. Actually, I wonder if you can talk to the drones. Yeah, those wireless keyboards. No, 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 no. Is that the one I do one sixty eight? Yes. Yes, yeah, sixteen. Sorry. I start, when, when things go bad like this, I get sure. Eh. Well, it's we're all watching you. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Just remember that. It's hanging. <laughs> I'll be watching. Yeah, but he's watching our wireless track. Yeah, just because it's not collecting like watching here, it's, collecting the, it's, it's actually still collecting on the drone. Mm -hmm. So I actually have to go into the drone and clear out all the collected files. Um, which is another nice thing. So if this if the server side actually fails, the drone will have some data left on it. We yeah. connect to it. Um, you can do <coughs> Raspberry Pi power over Ethernet. So if you want to pull these out and not have, you don't have power nearby, 
they've actually got splitters where you can split the power portion off and power the high off of it. Um, is this a switch down here? Or yeah, that's a switch. This is just annoying. I feel bad because I wanted to show you guys what it looks like for me. And I want to talk about the new changes I was going to make to it. <laughs> so the Raspberry Pis aren't talking to you over wireless? They're, they're yeah, that's why there's cables everywhere. Oh, that so way you don't interfere with the traffic or sniffing. Exactly. <laughs> so the wireless router, if you have a wireless card doing the traffic back and forth between the Pi, you're going to blow out your own. You can put two in there. Yeah, <laughs> you could, but then you're still going to sniff you're yourself. Blow, you're going to blow the receiving signal. Because it's sitting there passively. That's true. You got a, hi, I'm negative zero. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad about this. Um, I do have pictures in the article. Sorry. They're pretty much the same pictures in the, so it's in, uh, in the slide deck. December issue. Sorry. December issue of Linux Journal, and it's now on the website. Um, it actually walks you through what like, the files you can change. It goes in the sidebars on a lot of the software. So you got VMware, you, uh, your, your virtual network is up? Your, uh... It's bridged. Okay, so. Uh, Bridge to Bridge Ethernet? Yeah, Ethernet. Oh, do you have an IP address on your. Uh, no, let's try that. I was just thinking about that. Because you're not going to get DHCP I don't hold anything else, but I actually like them so. They made major improvements to it. It's better than XP. Try a big show. Yeah. 65. 64 is where you set the Yeah. There's no bad. It's receiving. So it's not sending it out to the network card for some reason. I'm wondering if something went wrong with trying to upgrade VMware earlier. Until it started. It's like, no, I gotta go. We'll go back to Windows. We'll bring up a shell on Windows to see if you can. It's IP config in Windows. Yeah. And the space is optional. Um, you can use slash all or space slash all. <coughs> I can't connect to 64. Do pig minus n. You don't want to be doing uh, DNS logos. Well, 
He put in my IP. It's not going to do in the EMS anyway. <coughs> oh, true. Well, what if because you brought up uh, VMware before the network interface was up? That could be a great right? properly. Yeah. 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 Windows would pop up a message telling you, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, IP tables. Mm -hmm. Gosh, minus capital L. Yeah, minus capital L. Minus L. <clears throat> no, tables and have the module alert. So it's not on the Linux side. You could ping from Windows to Linux, but you couldn't ping the other way. I bet it's Windows firewall. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, you don't need that. <laughs> Sure, you want to do this? Are you really sure you want to do this? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see if it did everything, though. It did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm still trying to connect with the host here, though. It's not trying to talk to those at all. But um, you should be able to SSH to it now. So the drones are set up to turn on SSH and start Kismet automatically. You can ping it, but you can't go to port 22. Chris, what do the drones look like? Do you have the Yeah. Did you have SSH on standard port? Yeah, SSH is set up on 22. Okay. That's weird. The library will come on in a few minutes and let us know that they're turning the internet off. So. Yeah. So, I don't have the, the cable plugged in, but now I'm passing it around. The white one's the battery that's running the drone, and then the cable... How long does the battery run the drone for? That one about five hours. Okay. So, so that's just a Raspberry Pi with a, with a Raspberry Pi case? Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, what size is the SD card? Is the what? SD card. Uh, it's just a regular SD card. Like, is it 8 gigs? Is it oh, it's um, 16. Oh, it's 16. So, so what do you do to protect the drones from uh, tampering? When um, the only box that's allowed to SSH into them is 192, 168, 165, which is why it has a SAC IP address. So. I was, I, but I guess I was thinking. Oh, well, it's actually just the fact that it's hidden in the wall. <coughs> it's in the serial. 65 or 64? 65. 64 Sorry. is the desktop or the laptop. Yeah, the VM is the VM instance. Ah. <laughs> You're not on the net. Um, I give. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all right. I suck. It's all right. <laughs> no. no, no worse part one, part two. Oh, oh, two part talk. <laughs> I don't. To be continued. <laughs> that, that, that. Um, so, may I have your attention, please? The time is now 8:30, and the library will be closing in 30 minutes at 9 o'clock. 
Please be advised that the internet will shut down 10 minutes before the close. Thank you all. <laughs> Talk about having the power. They piss off the world. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, a couple times they get it right. <laughs> the internet. I'd be interested to see, though. And I, I, when I was running out of the house, like, I wish I could find my Raspberry Pi B Plus that yeah, have the car in it still. Because I actually had that stuff on the monitor just running here by itself. But it'd be actually interesting to see if they turn off the internet by just turning off the access points, or if they leave those up and running, and they've got something blocking the online connection. Yeah. And they might have something blocking the wire. Because they, they have a little lab downstairs. Well, you could just leave one of your Raspberry Pis here and collect while you're gone and find out. <laughs> Come back next month. So they just announced the new version. I would not be here next month. So what? The new version of the Raspberry Pi. Pi 2 is getting, oh, they announced that Monday, I think. Yeah. Double, last one. Double Big snow. Quad core. Quad core. Yeah. One gig of memory. Yeah. Wow. Everything else is like the Raspberry Pi B plus. Yeah. What's the yeah. price point? 35 still? It's still 35 yeah. bucks. Well, everywhere I've seen, so, I've seen it going between. Yeah, incredible. I, I saw them say it's 35, but I've seen places that said they had it are between 39 and 59. Well, I think it's, it's the at cost versus how much yeah. they uh, they want to sell it for, and how much markup they can get for it. Is it still going to require its own like build of operating system? Um, more or less, but it's anything that's ARM based, from what I understand, um, including Windows 10. If you want to run Windows 10, yeah, I did hear I'm so excited. I mean, if get a Windows 10 machine, I'll get Raspberry Pi. Could you run Windows RT on it? Cool. Yeah. No, no, no. Hmm. I thought Microsoft's quitting RT. Yeah, they are. Well, they're putting uh, Windows 10 as a alleged Five hours to uh, start up on there. Oh. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, if you guys want to see a talk about doing traffic, that one ain't work. All right, so we've got a giveaway. Giveaway. <laughs> <laughs>